Hey guys, what is going on? So I just wanted to hop on here and give an update on my one month experience with Intelligent Elf and Ectisrone. So I have been on it since September 15th. It is currently October 14th. So tomorrow will be one month. I decided to do a scan today because I remembered. And uh, I'm going to be comparing that scan that I took today to one that I took six weeks ago, which obviously is not perfect because it wasn't from exactly a month ago, but is it is the most recent one that I have prior to hopping on Intelligent Elf and Ectistrone. And notably, for those of you who don't know, um, I was on Ectistrone throughout the course of this whole bulk, which I started on July 11th, but I was taking a different brand. So I just decided to hop on Intelligent Elephant. And these are the results. So I'll pop this up on the screen. Most notable thing here is obviously the 12 pounds of weight that I've gained in six weeks, which is a rate of two pounds a week, which is obviously very fast. A lot of people would consider even one pound a week to be pretty fast. Obviously I'm a bigger guy, so it's not that fast necessarily, but it's still probably faster than most would like. That being said, previous to this scan, I was having a very tough time putting on weight. And at the time I was actually taking a uh, Gorilla Mode AR, which is just L-carnitine. And that helps with basically just staying a bit more lean when you're bulking. And I figured that'd be a good thing. And I was basically eating as much as I could and I wasn't putting on weight. So I decided to pull that. I don't remember the exact date that I did that, but obviously since then I have not had an issue putting on weight and it's been coming on pretty quickly. So I'm actually adding it back in. Um, I talk about this in my most recent video, but it's not because I feel like I'm getting too fat. Like obviously I am accu accumulating some fat here at 7.6 pounds. Um, but I also, um, I just, I talk about it in the other video, you can watch that if you're interested, but adding Gorilla Mode AR, I just got it today actually, so I'm adding it in today. Hopefully that makes it so that I don't gain weight as fast as I have been, but obviously I'm putting the extra calories to use in terms of building muscle. So four and a half pounds of lean mass. No, I'm not claiming that that is pure muscle. That is just any mass on my body that is not fat. Now I take these scans in the morning without any food after going to the bathroom, everything like that. So I try and keep it as consistent as possible. Four and a half pounds. A lot of that was achieved uh, shortly after starting the Intelligent Elephant Extra Run. So I saw a very quick increase in weight and um, overall just lean body mass, weight, everything. And I saw a very similar thing when I upped my Tercesterone dosage back in the day when I was on that bulk. So um, seems like this is pretty potent stuff. A lot of people are asking me about what dose you should take. For me, it seems like three is doing the job quite well. My strength numbers are up. I've talked about my um, progress in terms of that in recent videos, and I'm currently focusing on strength training. Uh, so I'm not really doing as much bodybuilding as I was during the beginning of my bulk. So obviously that is a factor as well. Now, a lot of that weight gain that I saw in the initial two weeks, I was still doing bodybuilding. So it's not like I gained all this lean mass as I transitioned into strength training. I actually did it about uh, three weeks ago, not like when I hopped on the Intelligent Elephant for the first time. So obviously I saw a very quick increase in lean body mass within about the first week. And um, after that, I decided to transition more and do strength training. So um, with that being said, I do also have the scan that I compare from the 26th, which is a more recent, obviously that's about you know three-ish weeks ago. And I've only gained 0.2 pounds of lean body mass in that time while gaining 3.3 pounds of fat. So obviously from first glance, that seems like a very unfavorable ratio. And I would agree that it is. That being said, the fluctuations that we would see in lean mass in terms of the scores that I'm getting for body fat percentage can change. So it's possible that the lean mass that I saw on the 26 might've been inflated. It's possible that the one today was a little bit lower. But for whatever reason, it's only up 0.2 pounds. Um, but one theory that I have for that is as I've been transitioning more into strength training, so specifically focusing on like deadlifts, overhead press, uh, and most importantly, bench press, that's the one that I've been doing the most. Obviously, I'm not going to have that muscle fullness, that swelling that you get when you do like bodybuilding style training, especially the style that I used to do. I would notice that like my triceps, for example, if I were working my triceps a ton, which is something that I was doing as of pretty recent, my triceps would be a lot bigger. And as I brought down the volume, that swelling would go down. And obviously that could be a factor in terms of how they're determining my lean body mass in this. But at the end of the day, 0.2 pounds in a few weeks of lean body mass is not that bad. Um, but obviously it's not the rate of progress 
that I've come to expect on things like Turkesterone or Ectisterone. So obviously there is a law of diminishing returns. This is something that I have not talked about as much as I probably should, but let's say you gain five pounds of lean body mass on Turk or Ecti in X amount of time. You can't just expect to continue to make those type of gains forever, right? You're not just going to reach, uh, you know, super physiological levels of tissue just because you're taking this for a long period of time. The diminishing returns will apply. It's not to say that the stuff stops working. It's just that over the course of time, it, it's the same thing with lifting. Like, does lifting stop working after one year? No, but the results that you get from lifting are the most prominent in the first year, and then they go down, and it's kind of like a half-life situation, right? So um, I would assume it's just like anything else, where you know you continue to see results, performance enhancements uh, in the gym, stuff like that as you take it, but you can't expect to have crazy gains indefinitely, right? And I don't think anybody's really assuming that, but just because um, I've been taking it for so long, I can't really expect the same level of gains. Um, but that being said, it does seem that as I transition from previous brands of Ectisterone to Intelligent Elephant, it does look like I have gained some more lean body mass, which is good to see. Clearly, I'm also on a bulk, so that is a factor as well. Um, obviously, you lose a little bit of lean body mass when you're cutting and you add some when you're bulking, whether that's muscle water, whatever, that's just what happens. So um, that's to be expected. So I will be transitioning more so into, as I have been recently, doing uh, strength training stuff and actually potentially hitting some bench PRs and stuff like that. So that should be a pretty good indicator of if I've made progress on that front. Um, I have been hitting PRs recently, but they're pretty minimal. So as I continue to hit them, ramp up the volume, ramp up the weights, everything like that, um, it should paint a bit of a clear picture. So that should be probably um, what I talk about in the following update in one month when I talk about two months on Intelligent Elephant or whatever. So um, anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.